Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Alphacraft SCP server season two. Don't forget to check out the other alphas. All their links are in my description. And thank you for stopping by and watching today. Appreciate that. So today I'm finally, I'm finally going to get started on my base. Yes, my, my outer base there in the Mega Taiga. I am finally getting started on it. I've done a little bit of clearing. I've done a little bit out there. We're going to go out there in just a little bit, but I realized that I needed some boon blocks and I had a skelly spawner out there, but I just, I, kn I knew that it was going to take me like a week to get that ready to get bones. And, um, so I just asked if anybody had any bare bone blocks that they just didn't need. And Drama Smith came to my rescue. She said she left me. So, oh my goodness. That's like double than what I needed. Oh my, I don't have even room to carry all this. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's double, but wow, she's awesome. Let's grab, let's see. Yeah, let's just grab what we can hold then. So that we can take these back. Got to take this back to the base. Um, I don't actually need them in the, in the first part of the, the video, but um, I, I need them for to finish this. So I don't know how far I'll get, but I'm hoping we'll, we'll actually make a little bit of progress. We are going to build the portal house out in my area because I'm going to have massive storage underneath it. Hey, all right. Uh, I've got a little bit of work done, as you can see on this little bitty on this log house i had to move in from the outside because it was just cold out here just it, it was cold and it would get dark and scary and so yeah i've got a little bit of done here um oh look a wandering cotton guy uh so anyway i gotta close those doors he's gonna walk in here <laughs> okay I need to put pressure plates so i've got a little bit done here um I at least have a roof over my head and at least a little bit of stuff. Everything that was out there is put away, but this is not going to be my main storage area. Um, I really want to get started on the portal house because the lower portion, let's get up here. The lower portion of the portal house is going to be my, where my mass storage is. Um, I'm not going to have any kind of item sorters or anything like that. It's just, that's where all my chests and barrels will be. That's pretty much where I'll keep most everything basically um under the portal the portal i'm going to move up to however tall uh that building will be so um i'm not sure yet but that's what we're gonna work on but so here's my log house i i may change that dark oak i'm not sure yet i'm not sure how i like that i think i have to get all the little details around for it um some of you might know i did make a cute and cozy tutorial for a fallen log house I'm going to put that card link up. I followed that general guideline, um, but this one's a little bit bigger than my tutorial. Um, my tutorial one was a little bit more cozy and small, but I needed, I wanted a little bit more room on this, but this is maybe not even half done. I still have a lot of details to do. I like to make the, um, I've got to make just this, this area around here, you know, I got to make more little logs and roots kind of sticking out it's just yeah there's a lot of details left on on this and um but we'll just do a quick little run through um and i oh that's where i'm going to cut down <laughs> i was like why is there a hole there i actually um i'm going to cover that hole down to where my mine is i'm going to cut down here make a little ladder down and access my mine area from right there but i've got this started it's uh, this area is going to be the kitchen this I'll, I'll just you know decorate with cutesy log stuff this is kind of like a little desk area it's going to be um i've got little shelves started and ready but it's not fully decorated i moved my map to right here i'm not sure if that's where it's going to stay um but then the upstairs is right there got the little uh, railing with the um trap doors uh, let's see those look better in a different texture pack my texture pack it, they all Kind of look the same with the lattice there in the middle, just a different color. Um, but yeah, I think in other people's textures, those will actually look like the spruce trap doors like they're supposed to. So I think it'll look really cool. 
But anyway, so up here I've got my bed, um, a little bit of storage, which right now this is where everything is that was outside. Um, I still have a lot to do around the bed and make a little desk area. A lot of things left to do. I've got to make some lanterns and um, light the place up with lanterns, of course, not, not just torches. But yeah, that's what this is so far. But I didn't really want to waste a lot of time on the episode on this. Uh, I really need to get going on what I'm going to build around the portal. Yeah, that's that's the fun project. So um, we're going to get going on that. All right. So after we went and gathered a few of those things, we are back here at the base and I'm ready to get started on this. You can see that I've already made a little outline here. I've started this outline. Uh, this is actually going to be the base of a large tree trunk, but this isn't going to be a full tree going up. This is going to be like a, like a tree stump. Actually, it's going to be a stump and it probably goes, it's going to go up about, uh, nine to 12 blocks high. Um, I don't know yet. I have to get it built up and then I have to stand back and look. But it's going to be a stump and it's going to have a lot of roots coming down and just kind of spreading out around this area. And on the top of the stump, I'm planning on building a basically, yeah, just something that you think a forest dweller would live in, you know, like a gnome or uh, maybe like, I don't know, fairy and not... Mm, I can't really explain it. It's all in my head. So I'm hoping that just by the time I get to it, you'll kind of see what, it, what I mean. Um, that's what I needed the bone blocks for. The bone blocks will be the main um, house structure that's going to be on top of this stump. Also the top of this stump, I'm going to have some little branches kind of sticking out and they're going to have like a little bit of foliage still left on them. Not a lot because it's it's kind of it's gonna be basically a tree stump, so it's it's gonna look like it's either the top half has fallen off or maybe it got cut off. Just um, you know, we don't know. It's just a, this isn't going to be an enchanted forest. All right, so I'm gonna get started and then we're gonna speed this first part up real quick. I can't believe I'm actually almost out of spruce. I chopped so much of it um, when I was clearing all these trees from here to there. And of course, well, I did use a lot right there in my log house. So I didn't really anticipate that, but yeah, I want this to be two blocks higher and then we'll fill out and make it um, just look like a really old log. We're gonna fill this out. And then once I start adding blocks here and making like the roots come out, I'll be able to reuse, um, I'll be able to take some of those out because they'll be on the inside. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do this for now in case I need to get in there to the portal. I get in there until I move it. But yeah, let's go ahead and add two more to this and we'll get going. I will use these as placeholding blocks. All right, so the first thing is, you know how a trunk, a tree trunk, especially an old one, it grows out of the ground. So it's thicker around the base, kind of roots kind of spread out and it's thicker around the base. And then it kind of skinnies up just a little bit in the middle. And then usually near the top, um, it kind of, it goes out just a little bit. So that is what we're going to do here. Um, these are gonna go out probably about, some areas one block, some areas two blocks. And I want to make sure, and I want to make sure that I make this varying. You know, it's not just going to be flat. All th all three of these blocks are going to be sticking out when they're going to be varied, because um, I want this to look as naturally grown as possible. All right, so we're going to start. I'm going to do this. All right, so I'm going to set those there. Let's go back up. Okay. All right. All 
So the area around the edges, they're going to create a sort of a ledge. I'm going to be doing a lot of sneaking over the side. Times like right now, I really wish I had Elytra already so that I could just fly around over to that treetop and see what this looks like. <laughs> but we don't have those yet. <laughs> so, oh goody. All right. So it's starting, starting to look good. Uh, this still needs to go out even further, which is just gonna take more leaves or dirt or something. But yeah, let's, uh, we are going to go ahead and start, I'm going to start actually at the lower, I'm going to start down here. All right, so now we need to start building this out and I am going to need way more spruce wood. Good thing is I've got a forest full, so I also can farm them pretty easily here. might just go ahead and make this the entrance and um well although I don't want ever if anybody visits I don't didn't really want them to have to walk through my storage room to get out <laughs> which I guess they can't so this is basically you get the you get the gist of kind of what I'm doing I've got to do this all the way the rest around here but it's going to take time because I, I need to add them, step back and take a look at the angles and see if I like how they look. Um, I still need to work up there on the top, which is a lot harder to do, um, at least from the top there. Uh, so yeah, I think I want to do the base first so that I have things to climb up on and be able to reach underneath. But yeah, so we've got a little bit left to go. Um, might just kind of speed through some of this uh, with replay <laughs> overview. So, uh, but I want to get this finished, so let's get going. So here I started working on the inside storage and I wanted it to just be not everything exactly perfect. Just wanted to put a smorgasbord of chests and barrels and I mixed in some bookshelves and leaves and just little things everywhere. And here I finally have started on the, this is actually my second attempt at building the bone block house. Um, I had it wrong the first time. I had to tear it completely down. Uh, I finally got it right on this attempt. It is like an upside down, it's kind of like a cone shape, I guess. And I am using red brick for the roof. This is also the second attempt uh, on the roof. I had to tear this one down at one point as well.
All right, now that I've got the main house up, I start finishing the little branches that are coming off the back of the stump. I kind of don't like that I can see the glowstone through the leaves. I might have to think of a different way to light that. I'm not sure yet. Might just be my texture pack. Hey guys, all right. Oh my goodness, this took me way longer than I had anticipated all the little bitty details. Um, basically, I got that main portal house stump done and I also got my fallen log house finished and we're gonna do a quick tour of both of those. All right, so first here is the fallen log house. I want to just do a really quick on the outside look so it's fallen down and this is the side that basically had roots that were in the ground, but they've got leaves on them and not because they were, that's how they grew because those are roots. But once the log fell and it's just sort of been laying there for a long time, you've got growth coming out on these, on these limbs and things that stick out. And so that's what those leaves are for. Let's go on the inside. Oh, I just love the inside. So you walk in and you see you've got the upstairs up there. So yeah, here's, we got sofa, a lot of little things on the shelves and I still may need to add some more, just some more little paintings or maybe item frames with things in them. I'm still gonna clutter this up a little bit. It, it, it is quite cluttered, but so that wall, we've got paintings, leaves, flower pots. That one up there has the dead bush in it. I've got a lot of bookshelves. Here is my little kitchen. Just lots of little knick-knacky things. Got my little cooker range and sink and a smithing table that I can't interact with. I just thought it looked really cool and I thought that it worked well inside here. Let's go upstairs really quick. And yeah, just a, just a hobby little room. I, like, I think that up there looks like a little stereo system or something. <laughs> Got a little desk and a chair. Maybe somebody's like working on painting a map. So as you can see, look, I've, I've added little windows here and there too in the different levels of my storage. So we walk up through here. Yeah, I'll stop these vines so that we can walk through, but that's, if somebody comes and visit, they'll know that's the way back in because it is a little bit hidden. Get some, I've got some hay bales and some little flower pots here by the opening, hopefully to kind of give a clue that this is the way in. So you walk in and upstairs or up this ladder is all the way up to the portal house thingy. But down here, so the lower level, I actually don't have anything in any of these storage. Um, no, this is this was pretty much for decoration. I may eventually need to use the storage area uh, but for now, it's pretty much for looks. Um, when I was working over here, I needed to sleep a lot. I decided to make a little bed area. And yeah, so this is the downstairs. Let's go in. I'm going to go to the next level. And this is my storage house for my fantasy for forest. So here's the final storage. Lots of little knickknacky things. Again, I'm still going to come through here and even add some more little thingies. Um, I might change some more stuff up, add some flower pots or little paintings stuck in and some of these little holes here in those empty spaces. I just really want it to look really, really lived in. And I think it's getting there. So uh, I've got a whole cooking station set up here. Lots of stuff. I don't have any enchantment area yet. That's probably going to be in a basement underneath my fallen log house. Yeah, this, this, I love, I just love this room. People will have to go through it to get up and down, which, I mean, that's fine, you know. I had to make use of this below the portal anyway. I moved my map to in here. So, yeah, the red uh, brick roof is there. It's my log house right there. So, this final room... Pretty spacious, um, and I decided to just use the spruce leaves to cover around the portal. 
It's spacious as far as height, but yeah, it is kind of squishy as far as floor space. So if people want to come out here and just hop up and take a look at the grounds, which there will be so much more here as the months progress. Um, but yeah, right now, little log house, fallen log house over there. But there is this, this area is going to be just like a thriving taiga community. It's, there's going to be so many little things and little paths to everywhere. So this, it doesn't really look like much when it's really up close here. I decided to put a cute little flagpole right there. Uh, there is, can we see it? I can't see it. Uh, let's jump. There's a, uh, there's a little chimney up there. We're going to go back and take a look at this from further away. Oh, there. So oh, there it is. Eventually, when I have different things behind it, I think it'll stand out a little bit more. But right now, it really blends in with all of those trees um, that are still back there. But yeah, it just it's kind of a cone shaped house. Just sort of, um, I don't know. I like the look of the bone blocks. I, I really do. Got that crookedy old little chimney up there. I really think the red brick looks awesome in this taiga forest. Got all of those roots coming down and going into the ground. I may even thicken those up a little bit and add a little bit more. Um, and make them kind of sprawl out and come out a little bit more. But for right now, it's, it's finally at least to a point where I can say that that's finished and I can start on something else. I'm liking this. I, I like how it, how it has turned out. All right, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Got a nice, uh, got a nice start today. I'm loving it. Hope you enjoyed watching today. Uh, the, just the progress and what we've got done so far. If you liked, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know. Leave me a comment. I love every single one of them. Everyone is always so supportive and awesome. Just love you guys. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more and watch the progress along here, as well as some of my other things that I've got going on, just hit the sub button so you don't miss them. Uh, pretty soon, final note here, pretty soon I will be starting a stream schedule. I've just got to get myself uh, organized and figure out what days I'm doing what. And I stream over on Twitch and that link is in my description as well. Be sure to follow so that you don't miss when I go live there. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.